In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to obtain all four Raygun Mark II variants on the Black Ops 4 Zombies map Alpha Omega. Now, to do this, you'll need a couple of things. First, you need to obtain the Raygun Mark II frames, as well as craft the assembly kit at the Operations Workbench. If you don't know how to do any of that, you can find links to my quick guides in the description. So the first variant we're going to start with is the Mark II X, or the Blue Raygun. To begin this, you'll need to double upgrade a weapon until you get the Cryo Freeze ammo type. Then, head over to the spawn side of the town and look for a cabinet or desk drawer that's giving off a blue mist. You can find one in the APD interrogation area, the garage of the operations house, and then one next door in the fusion facility area. Once you shoot the drawer, it will open for you to pick up a canister. Now in the next round, if you stay in the bunker area, there should be some zombies spawning with a blue mist around them. Shoot those zombies with your cryo freeze weapon, then knife them so they drop a piece of goop. You'll have to do this three times. Finally, make your way to the APD control room and place your canister inside this broken container to spawn a soul circle. If you kill zombies while inside the circle, their souls will charge the canister. After after it's done and the circle disappears, you can pick the canister back up and take it over to the assembly kit to craft the Mark II X. This variant has a pretty fast rate of fire, and then when you pack a punch it, it becomes dual wield. The next one we're going to do is the Mark II V, or the Yellow Ray Gun. To begin this, you'll need to double upgrade a weapon until you get the kilowatt ammo type. After that, head over to the generators area and look for a panel that is giving off a yellow mist. Upon entering, you can find one location to your right, another to your left more towards the actual generators, and then one down by the tonic perk. Once you shoot the panel, it will pop off for you to pick up a canister. Now, if you make your way back up to the town, you'll see that one of the five telephone poles is sparking yellow. What you have to do is shoot at it with your kilowatt weapon until an electric orb appears on top of it. After that, one of the other remaining telephone poles will then start to spark as well. You must shoot all five until an electrical current connects them. Finally, head over to this generator outside of the yellow house and place your canister inside of it. This will spawn a soul circle which you must stand in to charge the canister. After it's done and the circle disappears, you can pick the canister back up and take it over to the assembly kit to craft the Mark II V. This variant has unlimited ammo with a sort of cooldown feature, and when pack-a-punched, the damage is significantly increased as well as its ammo. The next one we're going to do is the Mark II Y, or the Orange Ray Gun. To begin this, you'll need to double upgrade a weapon until you get the Brain Rot ammo type. After that, head up to the town and look for a pile of dirt giving off a green mist. You can find a pile in the center street area right by the Brew Perk, one in the backyard of the greenhouse, and then one to your right in the backyard of the yellow house. What you need to do is get a Brain Rot kill near that green pile. This will cause the zombie to dig up a canister that you you can pick up. Next, you must find a yellow orb that will be floating over one of the teleporters. When you find it, go ahead and place a teleporter piece at that location, then shoot the orb with your brain rot weapon. You'll then have to go find the orb again at a different teleporter. Once you find it, again, place down another teleporter piece. Now all that's left is to shoot the orb one last time, then follow it through the teleporter. If done correctly, the orb will then fly off to the storage room where you can interact with it to spawn a soul circle. Stand inside the circle and charge the canister by killing zombies. After it's done and the circle disappears, you can pick the canister back up and take it over to the assembly kit to craft the Mark II Y. This variant has an explosive ammo type and a charged attack. When pack-a-punched, it's given more ammo, increased damage, and an even more powerful charged attack. And the final one we're going to do is the Mark II Z, or the Purple Ray Gun. To begin this, you'll need to double upgrade a weapon until you get the Firebomb ammo type. After that, you'll then want to look for a cabinet that is giving off an orange mist. This can be found in the kitchen of the greenhouse on the left, as well as the kitchen of the yellow house on the right. There is also a location down in the lounge area of the bunker. Once you find and shoot the cabinet, it will burn up for you to collect a canister. Next, make your way out to the cul-de-sac and take a look at all of the houses around you. One of their chimneys should be smoking purple. What you have to try and do is throw Wraith Fire directly on top or into the chimney to put out the smoke. What I normally do is throw one Wraith Fire to see how close I am and then from there make the necessary adjustments to hit it with my second one. When you do hit it, the fireplace inside the house will light on fire. If you place your canister inside the fireplace, a soul circle will spawn. Kill zombies while inside the circle to charge the canister. After it's done and the circle disappears, you can pick the canister back up and take it over to the assembly kit to craft the Mark II Z. This variant is almost like a shotgun, and when pack-a-punched, it becomes full auto. Also, really quick, you can place your ray guns back into the frame container instead of having to lose them when trying to upgrade another one. Well, that's pretty much it for this video, so thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.